from Turner Style. I know it's been a really long time since I did a video. So I thought I'd shoot one today and do a haul to kind of get back into the swing of things. Uh, I took a little break from blogging in general, which I kind of mentioned in my book video if you guys watch that. Um, but I'm going to be back into it now, so you'll be seeing a lot more of these on YouTube soon. Anyways, I'll start off uh, with my haul. I just picked up a few things today. Um, tomorrow is my birthday, so I kind of wanted to treat myself to a little birthday shopping. And um, I didn't end up buying what I really wanted, which was these pair, this pair of earrings from Tiffany's. They didn't make them anymore, the ones that I wanted, so... Uh, I was a little disappointed because of that, but um, I did pick up a couple other things just randomly at the mall. So um, I'll start off with, uh, I went to Aldo Accessories, and I don't usually shop there, but um, I was just intrigued by the window, so I went in, and they had these really cute pin collections, so the first one I bought um, was like a military inspired collection, so it came with three pins. This one... This one, and this one's my favorite, a little hanging star. And they're just military inspired, uh, I think they were for the set $10, and I'm pretty sure it also came in gold. Basically I think it'll look really cute on my military jackets and also on, on a blazer, um, or even like a little denim jacket. I really loved um, Effie's coat on skins last season when she had all the pins on the one shoulder. I thought that looked really chic, so it's kind of the vibe I was going for there. And then these really stood out for me. They're kind of like the Mew Mew animal pins. Um, they came in packs of two, and this one was the owl and the dog, which is my favorite. Um, and then they had another set that had a bird, which was really cute, with another animal, but now I can't remember what it is, but um, these ones were $8 for the set. So I got those. Then I went to H&M, so I was looking for this blazer and that I'd seen online. Of course, they didn't have it, um, but I did buy just two little tops. One is just a basic ribbed white tank. It's really long. I got a medium because I usually like things a bit loose, but I don't know, now I'm kind of wishing I might... I've gotten a small because it's pretty baggy. I don't know, I'm going to try it on with a couple things, but it was only $9, so not a big deal. And then I got this white t-shirt from Divided with a horse picture on it. I don't know if you can see it. But uh, yeah, it's really cute and it's really long, so I can wear it with leggings. It's actually like long enough even to wear as a dress, but it's pretty sheer, so I wouldn't do that. But yeah, really, really cute, and um, I always love, you know, animal print t-shirts. I mean, anyone who's seen these videos knows that. So, uh, that's what I got at H&M, and then I went to Urban Outfitters just to kind of see what was new, because I haven't been shopping in a really long time. I mean, I was away for two weeks, and then even before I went away, I was kind of trying to save money and not shop as much, and there wasn't really anything in the stores anyway, because it was the end of summer, and everything was just sales. Um... So I just wanted to go check in, and I didn't see anything that I loved in the store for fall, um, but all, they had all their jeans on for $39, so I bought another pair of these gray Urban Outfitters jeans, because these fit amazing. They're so nice, and I have a pair already, but these ones are full length, and the ones I already have are ankle. So they're good for the winter time, and they just give you like like a really long look when you do the full length. Um, the ankle jeans are great if you want to wear them with flats, or if you want to show off your shoes. But the long length is nice too. So I like that now I have one of each, and they're just such great jeans and so inexpensive. Well, normally they're 64 Canadian, so for th they were 39. So you're, you're saving a lot, and for what they are, they're it's a really good price. And then while I was waiting in the huge line, which I did a lot today, wait in huge lines, because there's so many people shopping. I had, you know, that thing where they set up little accessories and things to kind of tempt people while they're waiting. And they have these nail polish remover pads. Um, these come in packs of 100, and they were $6.90 Canadian. And basically, they're just little, like, cloths, circular cloths that have a nail 
removing solution on them. It's not an acetone based remover. It's actually kind of more oily um, and they smell really nice. This one was jasmine scent but they had like one with a cupcake that was vanilla scented and I just tried them out to see if they worked. Um, I had uh, American Apparel's office on my fingertips and they worked really really well um, to remove polish that I had applied myself and then I tried to use them to remove my pedicure. Um, that was a little bit harder to get off with these because I, I think they're a lot more gentle than regular nail polish remover. Um, but if you like to paint your own nails, you probably would get a lot of good use out of these. Um, they're great just keep in your bag if your nail polish just chips and then you just want to take it off because I find that that can look really tacky. Um, I'd rather have no nail polish um, than chipped nail polish. So yeah, these are going to be kind of my mobile removers for when that happens. And then I'll just use, oops, <laughs> and then I'll just use regular polish at home. Um, but yeah, these are great. And lastly, most exciting purchase of the day was at Forever 21. Now, I, know, I don't normally shop a lot at Forever 21 just because I find um, a lot of the times their stuff um, isn't great quality and it's really hard to find like the gems. I mean, it can happen. You can find the gems every once in a while, but... Um, for the majority of my wardrobe, I prefer H&M or um, Urban Outfitters or Zara or Aritzia for the majority of my wardrobe. Um, but I have seen these shoes online and on a lot of blogs. They're these Mew Mew inspired shoes. And I always wanted the Mew Mews, but of course they were like four or $500 a pair. So I didn't get them. <laughs> um, so I thought I'd try them out. I thought they'd be incredibly uncomfortable. So I really wanted to go to the store and try them on. And I went today and they had two pairs left. One was a size 8 and one was a size 6. And they had them in, which and they look like this, the polka dot. Black with gray polka dots. And then they also had them all solid black. And in, that, in those they had um, a size 9, which is what I'm usually an 8.5 or a 9, depending on the brand. Um, so I, tr I was sad that these weren't in a 9 because I didn't think they would fit. But when I tried them on, the 9 was huge, and then the 8 fit perfectly. So these do run big, if you're interested in them. Um, they do, I know they were selling them online, I'm not sure if they have any left, but check your local eight, um, Forever 21. They were $30 Canadian, and I think they're even cheaper American. They're amazing. Like, I can't even express my shock at how comfortable they are. I mean, they're definitely not shoes you want to walk around in for, you know, five hours, but they don't um, rub. I really thought this would, like, dig into your skin and rub, but it, they don't. They're really comfortable, um, and they're actually pretty easy to walk in, considering how high they are, because the heel is so sturdy and there's a platform. So, yeah, I was really, really impressed with these shoes. Um, like, shocked, even. Uh, and I'm so happy that I was able to get a pair because there was only two left and these weren't even my size and they fit. So, yeah, notes to everyone who's interested in them. They are comfortable, they are amazing, and definitely if you're between sizes, go down a size, not up a size because they're a little bit big. Yeah, awesome. So that was my haul today. That's everything I got. Um, yeah. I hope you guys uh, aren't too mad at me for being away for so long, and I will have some more videos up in the future, hopefully um, in the next couple days, so I'll see you soon. Bye!